Eight remaining home cooks have been stranded in the wilderness for an epic team challenge that will test both their culinary creativity and resourcefulness. I have no idea where I am. I don't walk or hike for fun. That's not fun to me. That's like torture. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. To the absolute middle of nowhere. Throughout this competition, we have seen you cook with some of the finest ingredients available anywhere in the world. And you've worked in all sorts of amazing kitchens. And there's none better than the luxury of the MasterChef kitchen. But we need you to show us that you can cook anywhere and with anything. That's why we brought you out here. For this challenge, tomorrow, you'll be serving us a delicious gourmet dish created out of the ingredients in those survival cases. And you will all be spending the night here in this beautiful wilderness. In these boxes, each team has only the bare essentials. One camping knife, a flint for starting your fires, a cast iron skillet, and a wooden spoon. With these very limited tools, plus the absolute basics in terms of ingredients, you must make us a world-class restaurant quality dish. Bree, Natasha, you two had the best dishes in the last elimination challenge. You are team captains. It would definitely be exciting to win this challenge because it would prove to everyone that I do know what I'm doing and that I'm not just the underdog, I'm not just the vegetarian. I grew up in South Africa. We had lots of land. Uh, I had three older brothers, so I'm a tomboy at heart. I'm not afraid of the wilderness. Bree, you had the best dish, so you get the first pick. My first choice is going to be someone that I know will be comfortable outside in the wilderness. So my first choice is James. James, wow. I grew up camping. My dad took me hunting, fishing so many times when I was a kid. This is my backyard. I know this. Natasha. Jordan, you're going to be on my team, buddy. Jordan. My second pick is Eddie. Eddie, wow. <laughs> Eddie, let's go, big boy. I trust this person's palate, so I would like Jesse to be on my team. Wow. Jesse, let's go. Welcome to the blue team. We are down to the last two picks. This is familiar territory for you again, Chrissy. Are you surprised this time? I'm always last picked. I, whatever. Whose team do you want to be on now? Natasha's. And why not Brie? Because I hate Brie. Oh. Stop it. Wow. I don't like the idea of having a vegetarian captain my team. I would like to finish my team with Luca. What a shock, eh? Thank you. Two team captains, please go and join your respective teams. Thank you. Hey, guys. Ciao. Everybody happy? Yes, yes sir. Unfortunately, the wilderness does have one similarity to the kitchens of a four-star restaurant. Nothing is ever predictable. In the restaurant business, people get fired every day. Head chefs come and go. You have to be able to work with everybody. So that's why we now are going to change the two team captains and switch teams. <laughs> You're really going to leave me all night with her? We're switching captains after Chrissy announced to America how much she hates me. I have to deal with the beast. OK, guys. Inside those survival cases are two different animal proteins that you could find out here. In one case, you have three rabbits. And in the other case, six pigeons. Bree, since you had the best dish in the last challenge, you and your team now get the choice of which protein you want to cook with. I've cleaned rabbits before. They're a lot easier to clean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Everyone comfortable? Yeah. All right. We have chosen three rabbits. So, Natasha, that means that you and your team will have the pigeons. Right now, it's the survival of the fittest. Good luck. Good luck. Stay safe and stay warm. <laughs> to the trenches! Let's do this. With limited daylight remaining, the teams must start planning tomorrow's gourmet dishes. With no electricity, no running water, and no kitchen appliances, the home cooks must create a world-class restaurant-quality dish 
made from the most basic of provisions. Potatoes, quail eggs, we got some carrots. This is all the oil we're working with. That's it? Yep. Check it out. Yeah, they're small, dude. Yeah. They're small. Going through the big metal box, we have some vegetables, we have spices. Just got the bare necessities, actually. All right, guys, we need to figure out what we're going to do here. Somehow we're going to have to pull out a Michelin star dish with a pocket knife and peppercorns. So we got some work cut out for us. We got the innards, too. What do we have to cook with? We have a cast iron pan. We have some empty coffee cans that we can cook in. And that's pretty much it. This is a desperate challenge. We are expecting something incredible tomorrow. They have the most basic of necessities yeah. here. A hind quarter would almost would be. be enough. And then we could make stock overnight tonight with the other right. stuff. Yeah. I'm looking for sauces technique. I want a restaurant quality dish in the wilderness. Split them in half and grill them. Tough one, Pigeon, because that is the most unforgiving protein anywhere in the world because it goes rubbery right. within seconds. Right. How do y'all want to serve it to them? Do you want to do like a split? In the blue team? Well, they know how to cook that rabbit as delicate as we would in terms of how unforgiving it is. No fat, very lean, mm -hmm. and goes dry instantly. Yeah. It's really big, so we should definitely section it out. With their camp set up, Blue Team Captain Bree has a radical idea for their gourmet dish. Here's what I was thinking. We could do braised rabbit, and we have flour, right? Mm -hmm. we, we could make pasta. Do we have eggs? I could definitely make eggs. pasta. That shows some balls. Yeah, it does. Making fresh pasta out here in the elements, hello. Yeah. While the blue team starts immediately prepping vegetables for a stock, the red team is struggling to come up with a high-end concept for their pigeon dish. What were we thinking about the bird? Maybe we can do like a dry rub and let it sit overnight. Hmm. We could do a yuca puree. Look, we got to keep it light. A yuca puree will be light. Living in the dirt and gourmet does not go hand in hand. Nothing about this area that we're in says gourmet. And it's definitely giving us a little trouble. Where's the sauce coming to play? Do we even need the sauce anymore? We definitely gonna need a sauce. We definitely don't have the Master Chef Kitchen backing us up in this one. We have nothing to work with. You guys, we need to figure it out. Night falls on the camps, but there is no time for rest. The blue team is busy butchering one of their rabbits and prepping vegetables when Gordon arrives to assess their progress. Hi, guys. Hi, Chef. Right, what are we up to? We're going to do a rabbit ragu, and we're going to serve it over a fresh pasta. You're making pasta? Yeah. Yes, we are. Whose idea was a pasta? Ooh. It was mine. Wow. Yeah. So no knives, no boards. How are you improvising? We got wine bottles to roll it out. We're yeah. good to go. Yeah. Uh, bloody ambitious. Have you pull it off? Fantastic. Thanks, Thank you, Chef. Chef. Good night, guys. Enjoy your Bye. night. While Blue Team's rabbit prep is well underway, the Red Team is test roasting one of their pigeons. Hey, guys. Hey. 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 What's up, brother? What dish are you going to serve us tomorrow? Um. Not, yeah, wait, not you know all what? at once. No, honestly, we're still kind of working on it right now. We, we, we took apart the pigeon, and we wanted to see how we could aesthetically put it in front of you guys, which is a, a nice, elegant way. We definitely don't know what we want to do, and the judges are here, and it's, it's actually embarrassing. The thing that you really need to come up with, I'm sure Joe agrees, is what the hell the dish is. Yep. Good luck. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks, Joe. We're running out of time. We really need to put our foot down and think about something solid that we're going to put on the plate. And if we don't, then we're going to be in a pressure test. In this grueling Master Chef team challenge, resourcefulness is key. Our eight home cooks must use their culinary skills to create a world class restaurant quality dish using just the very basic provisions in their survival boxes. This is a tough challenge because we need to make a restaurant quality dish, but we don't have the equipment of a restaurant. We don't even have the tools. After a night of indecision, Natasha's red team has finally decided on a plan for their pigeon. We're gonna do a slow roasted pigeon over the spit. We're gonna do a farro with wild mushrooms and baby glazed carrots. How's it taste now? Oh no, it tastes like minerally. James is working on the sauce. 
Luca is taking apart the pigeons, deboning them and making sure that they're pretty, and Eddie's helping him with that. And I'm kind of just overseeing things that are going on. I mean, it's getting there. Maybe we add a little honey? While the red team is finally on track, the blue team is now beginning to falter. Can you hit the mushrooms with a, um, a little bit of the stock? Yeah. Rather than oil? I wanted to start the braise earlier than we did, but we only have one saute pan, and Bree wants to utilize the saute pan for the mushrooms right now. We gotta get this rabbit on yeah, soon. So we'll take the mushrooms out now. I don't know what happened from when we woke up and then the whole like next hour, what we were doing. Things are getting pushed back further. The emphasis on the rabbit just isn't there. Damn, I hope that we're cutting it close with this rabbit. Christy, do you want to get started on the pasta? I'm going to have to make it when we're 45 minutes to go. Uh, I can't rest it inside anything, so. Well, we could rest it in the tinfoil. No, the tinfoil will react with the Really? Things. Yeah. I really try to motivate my team to get everyone moving. There's not much we can do with the rabbit because it's braising. It just needs to cook. I'm a little concerned about the pasta, but I'm still going to trust Chrissy and hope that she can get it done. Good morning, good morning. With service time quickly approaching, Gordon checks in with the red team to hear how they plan on cooking the pigeon. Are you confident the fact that the way you're cooking them is the best way? Absolutely. Yeah? Yes. We, we tried two last, last night. Last night it was pulling off the bone. And it's definitely a gourmet pigeon dish. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Get going, guys. Yeah, Go good ahead. luck. You got it. Right. The red team presses ahead with their menu as planned, while on the blue team, Joe and Graham are concerned with the braised rabbit. Wow. Is that going to braise off in an hour? Uh, it's been on for... It's been on for close to an yeah, hour. Yeah, so for a while. It's an good. hour now. You could have braised it last night, let it cool, and warmed it up. Like, the longer it has to rest, the better it is with braising. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Chrissy, can you get started on the pasta? Yeah. Making pasta in the wilderness is so hard. We are banging out pasta with quail eggs, which are, like, the size of a thumbnail. Plus, we're rolling it out with a wine bottle, so I'm just hoping that it's going to come out okay. I think we're going to kick some ass today. So the blue team just started braising the rabbit an hour ago. Like, it's going to take three hours to braise. Exactly. You can't fast forward a cooking of a rabbit. The pasta was a good idea. Maybe the pasta could help save them. Just good. keep going. Keep you gotta, going you and get like, the fly. I'm a little concerned about time. The big worry for me and the red team is they're going to start spit roasting the pigeon. They think it's going to be tender enough to spit roast. Yep. Pigeon wants to be medium rare. Yeah. Can they get it there? How you feeling about the bird? Yeah, right now I'm just making sure that the, the pigeon is, is cooked. I don't want to overcook it. What do you think is going to happen? Red team or blue team? Uh, right now for me, I'm hoping the blue team can pull this back. But we know cooking pigeon is far more difficult than it is cooking rabbits. So mm -hmm. right now, I'm going to sit on the fence. It's neck and neck for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish them in the pan, like sear OK. I'm stuck. The rabbit's a little chewy. Pull it off the bone and keep cooking it. Make sure it's cooked. That is the most important thing, over presentation. I think that it's more important to make sure that the rabbit is fully cooked. So I decide that we just need to take the rabbit off, shred it off the bone a little bit. The pasta is simply an accompaniment to the rabbit. As long as the rabbit is money, we're good. The rabbit is going to be cutting it close. 